Well, welcome to a new sunny upbuild video on our Fiesta ZTEC S. So this is going to be the third um, episode on our Fiesta. Um, and so in this one, we're going to reveal um, how much we paid for it, how much we spent on it with all like, the repairs, all the bits and pieces we fixed on the car that you've seen us in the last couple of episodes, and um, also how much we sell it for. We're going to reveal how much we've actually sold the car for. So that's going to be really interesting, isn't it, to see what we've, uh, what we've done then. We're also going to reveal our next um, upbuild revival, what we're going to be working on next, which we can't wait to show you. Um, but we've got a couple of things just to finish off with on this car. And then, um, and then we'll do all of that. So let's crack on with it. Well, as you can see, dealing with all those faded plastics was the first job of the day. Um, and boiled linseed oil, that was the trick there. Incredibly cheap and barely used a, a cap full of that bottle really effective too just wipe off the excess uh, that's a trick um, and it lasts a good length of time want to try if you, if you haven't tried it before right then so the next job is we're going to fix these handles that we were showing you earlier on that weren't working properly um, so it's just the tilt handle for the um, the seat which i'll show you you can see common thing that just won't pull the seat forward the seats just stuck and won't come forward so we've got the brand new handles fit on me that'll just show you that just... basically you get a couple of screwdrivers and just basically put a couple of screwdrivers in the back of the the handle and what you're doing that for is there's two little pins i'll show you on this new one you can see just on either side there's a pin there and another pin on this side and all you're doing is when you've got the screwdriver in the back there where I was pushing it underneath you're just pushing those two pins in so you see one there that pushes in another one that side and we'll see, you can see how that pushes in so basically you're just pushing them two pins in and that little hand will pull up well that's one off A little devil, yeah. There we go. Wow, so it's just the problem with it is, is the reason why it took so long is basically the metal frame, which I'll show you on the camera there, that basically sits up tight with that edge there. So you've kind of got to get your screwdriver down between the metal frame of the, the body of the, or the seat, the body of the seat, and between this plastic handle in there. You see about the middle. And then you've got to push that pin in, that one there. So it's just tricky because the problem is you push one in and the other side clips back in again in the seat. <laughs> anyway, so there, there we go, that's like the old one out. The problem with the old one is the cable locates on this little piece here, it sits in here, the end of the cable. And you can see on that bottom edge where it's worn away. And then you can see on that bottom edge, the cable just slips out of that little locator, and that's what the problem is. This these little tabs here have worn down. So when you lift the cable up, the cable just drops out of those two locating tabs at the back there. So the new one, you can see, not particularly much bigger, but you can see how there's enough there for the, the cable to grab it. Or for the little yeah, plastic hinge to grab it. So now it's just a case of popping that one back on the seat. Right, so you can see there's the cable there inside the little plastic catch. There we go, so that's now sh shaped the right way now. Right then, so this is a couple of days later, so when I was putting that handle on the last time, I was saying it was quite tricky about getting the screwdrivers in um, and popping the handle off, and what I did was I made the mistake of going a bit too far with the screwdriver, and I cracked the bit on the seat, which um, I've had to mend, so I've left it a couple of days with a bit of JB weld on, and then like shaped it up again so it's the right shape. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the new, the new handle on, and show you how that pops on, 
Um, but first of all, I've just got a little bit of silicon spray, which I'm just going to spray on. And you'll see when I knock the seat back, the little cable drops back down. What you want to do is, is make sure that that little cable stays straight so it doesn't twist. So I'm just going to grab it either side like that. Just so when it drops in place, it stays straight. You see the cable now will drop down in place when, I, when the seat clips back. There we go. This is the tricky bit. <laughs> so you can see we've got it all set in place, little levers straight. And the idea is that little lever will just locate itself when I push this in. So it's going to steadily find where that sits. So you just need to jiggle it around a little bit, Jack. Jiggle it back and forth so it kind of starts going in there. We'll go. It's going in there now. Just give it a little, a little friendly tap. I think that's all the way in. It looks like it's about to work. So just. The thing to do is when you lift the handle is support the seat and don't use the handle to lift the seat. So there we go. And I'll pull that back. I'll show you where the little um, pin locates, which you see that's it there, which I was holding straight. You can see the little pin. So it's located itself in the back of the handle. And there we go. That should be. That should be where we that should be where we where we need to be. There we go. Fantastic. Oh that's great. That's fantastic. That's another job off the list. Good. Tips. Good. <laughs> that's excellent that that's two seats fixed now. Brilliant. Working brilliant. Great. Let's get on with the next job. Good. Well who doesn't love a bit of snowfall? It's always fun, isn't it? Fantastic. So we're preparing ourselves now to give the car a good cut and polish, which you'll see in a minute. It brings the car up an absolute treat. So we'll give it a quick wash over, as you see, and get it back in the garage. Fantastic. Yep, that's good. Well that's it all washed down there now, nice and clean. Brilliant, so now what we'll do is we'll get the machine polish out and we'll give the whole thing a good machine polish. So as you can see here, we've taped off half the bonnet to give a before and after effect. We've definitely managed to restore some of the colour, although some of the scratches are still in there if you notice on that light bulb. More time spent with the cutting compound would, would definitely help that. So as you'll see in a moment, the method is to go over the body first as I am there with the cutting compound on the small uh, soft pad with the drill using G3 for Ecola. And then as you can see, my dad's following us around there uh, with the uh, machine polisher and the large soft pad. It's interesting, AutoGleam doesn't advise using it on a machine polisher, although it, we find it works quite well. You may just need to use a little bit of water. The main reason is because obviously the AutoGleam doesn't have some of the oils in it that it really needs to keep it moist. Like I say, a bit of water, and that really helps to, and it works well. One of the important things I forgot to mention earlier 
uh, was to make sure you mask up all of the plastics or any of the rubbers around the windows. You can see I'm removing that now. Um, just prevents getting any of the, the white polish on these areas and then it's harder to remove. Um, worth doing though. Now to spin the car around and repeat the process on the other side. Also good to keep the pad clean. Quite a handy way to do it with the air gun. Clean all of the uh, stodge out of the pad. So here we go again. Cutting and polishing. Me with the cut and dad with the polish following me around. Probably going over about five times with the cut. Five passes possibly and then... Uh, probably about another two passes again with the, the bigger uh, machine polisher and the auto gleam. Every now and then I might pop round with the auto gleam on the drill on the smaller areas, uh, like say down the door pillars. And so here we see I'm putting a bit of water on, and the reason for that is, like I say, just keeping the pad uh, moist and cool. That's a big thing, not too much heat on the pad. And also, it saves using more and more of the cutting compound when there's plenty of the cutting compound actually on the pad already. It just needs softening with a bit of uh, water sprayed. Never let the pad get dry. That's really important. Otherwise, you could start burning the paint. Right, now that's a, that's a finish now with the Fiesta now. We're going to give you a rundown now of all the parts, bits and pieces that we've had to buy for it and that. Yep. To get it through the MOTs and different things. Price breakdown. Price breakdown, yeah. <laughs> so we've got the first one at the top there, the wiper blades were £10. Power steering fluid, all the brake pipes, um, flexes, the hoses and the brake fluid, £70. There was a tyre there at £40. Tailgate's on like £12. Then the MOT was £70, we had a tax of... £30. Insurance, £30. They had the seatbelt tilt handles, £10. The alloy wheel paint, £30. And the brake pipe, brake paint for the calipers and drums, £12. A few badges were bought, £9. And uh, the number plates was £22. The oil service, £15. And the rear shock absorber, we had to replace that, which was £27. <laughs> we, and then we had a total of about £387. Yeah. So I suppose what we didn't add to that was any sort of like miscellaneous bits. So obviously maybe a few sand and discs, a little bit of polishing um, supplies, that sort of thing. Maybe add another twenty pound to that. So it puts us just over the over the forty pound. Yeah. Uh, over, just, <laughs> just over just the, the four hundred pound. 400 pound. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, I suppose the big thing is what you're wondering is how much did we spend on the car? What did we pay for it? <laughs> so that's a little bit more tricky that one, isn't it? It is a bit tricky that one because the way we bought it was it was be. Daughter's, daughter's car, car yeah, you know, car, so. and we helped her to get a new car. Yeah. Uh, so, so what we did was we had a look at the market and how much they're selling for right now. And this car, in the condition it's in, 150,000 miles, there was one for sale, same mileage, roughly same condition. Um, it was a silver car, and but it had MOT, whereas this car didn't have MOT. And you've seen obviously all the work we've done to it. That car was 950 pound. So I think probably fair to say knock maybe 150 pound off the price of of that car. And that gives you roughly a total of what they say this this car will be worth. Um, so say 
eight hundred pounds. Say we we'll start off with a car of eight hundred pounds. I think that's probably kind of like a bit of a yeah, fair it's price. A bit, uh, fair price to start. Yeah, a bit fair that. Yeah. Yeah. So the price that we sold it for, which we don't even know ourselves yet, <laughs> but you're going to find out because we're going to put it just here. So that's how much it sold for. Yeah. Total at the bottom. So that's how much. Bottom. There you go. That's how much. So it's, that's how much we spent. That's how much. Yeah. It cost, and that's how yeah. much we sold it for, and how much we made on it. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully plenty. Yeah. <laughs> this is the rundown of everything we've done. Brilliant. There you go. So that kind of gives you a clear understanding. Yeah. But anyway, there you go. All the prices. Yeah. <laughs> Finally managed to That's get them good. to you. Very so, good. Yeah, and what we need to do is obviously is let you know what we're going to be buying next, or what we've got next, what the next upload yeah. revival is. Yeah. So, so if you want to know what that is, we'll tell you what that is now. So <laughs> we'll give you a few teasers. What we'll do is we'll um, after this, we'll just pop a few teasers and see, see what we're going to be doing next. That's it. And, um, That's that'll it. let you know what we're yeah. doing. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Don't, don't forget to press the thumbs up button. Yeah. Press that thumbs up button. <laughs> that Brilliant. helps up, me. Pop a few comments on, tell us what you think. Well, well the comments we look forward to. It's been something of a different bit of a, a new uh, series which we've done with the Upload yeah. Revival. So, obviously, we're going to keep going with it. We want to know what you think and um, so we can add as many tips and hints as what we can to our series. Yeah, thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe mm. to keep up with us. And I think that's it. That's yeah. it, yeah. Very good. See you on the next one.